The largest ethanol producer in the world held a grand opening ceremony Tuesday at its new refining facility in Cloverdale. It took three years and $30 million for Poet Biorefining to upgrade a Cloverdale facility originally built by Ultra Biofuels. It's Poet's fourth ethanol plant in Indiana and the 13th for the state overall. A Monday ribbon-cutting ceremony was attended by more than 1,500 local farmers and industry partners and featured speeches from Indiana Lieutenant Governor Becky Skillman and Poet CEO Jeff Broin. In total, the the ethanol and the biodiesel plants, 13 ethanol, four biodiesel plants in our state, they have put more than $30 million in our local farmers' pockets, and they have invested more than $2 billion in private capital expenses in our state. The plant will produce nearly 90 million gallons of ethanol per year, about 9% of the state's yearly total of 1 billion gallons. In a time when the migration of young people to metro areas threatens a small town way of life in places like Putnam County, ethanol has provided rural America with nearly half a million new jobs. It's also boosted farmers' incomes, which has helped lower government farm subsidies by more than $8 billion. The Cloverdale plant will consume 31 million bushels of yellow corn every year and employ nearly 40 people. Poet hopes to have the plant up and running by the end of this week.